You bought a Tesla and now the only thing left is to install the wall connector. And instead of paying local installer five to seven hundred dollars or even more, you watch this video. Watch this video till the end and if there are any steps that you don't feel like comfortable of doing or don't think you can handle, then my advice would be to hire the local professional. Let's get to it. And I would say this is almost everything we need for this installation. Grab a screwdriver. By the way, all the tools and materials I will use in this video will be linked in the description below this video. There is a special bit that will fit precisely to the screws and just undo them. Last two bolts will be the hardest ones. Just push on the cover. And screw one. And do the same to the last one. Alright. Carefully remove the cover. Here you go. This is our area where we are gonna work. So if you don't feel safe, this is the main breaker. Turn the breaker off. And if you're gonna do so, I would recommend turn all the breaker off and then shut off the main breaker. Keep in mind, it doesn't matter if this breaker is shut off or not, these wires here, they will be still hot. In my case, I wouldn't shut off the main breaker and I will install the new breaker to this location. So our breaker will be installed over here. I'm not gonna put it yet because we still have stuff to do. I will do this installation the easiest way and the cheapest way. So on the materials I would spend only $25, $35. And since we put in the wall connector over here, I will need somewhere from four to six feet of the wires. All the connectors goes with the instruction how to install it. And Tesla requires you to install it with minimum number six gauge wire. This wire you can find at your local store. I will use six gauge for all three wires, even for the ground one. You don't necessarily need that, but I heard that there is some situation when the wire was smaller than number six gauge, it would cause some issue to the wall connector. So just in order to avoid this situation, I would put the number six uh, ground wire. You can see that over here, the knockout plate, that we're gonna need to remove in order to drill the hole through the stud because usually this box installed between two studs. Using the hammer and a flat screwdriver, knock out this plate. Here you go. During the installation, I don't wanna mess up with these wires, so I'm gonna pull them out like so. And I'm gonna drill the hole through this stud. All right, we went through. So now determine the location we're gonna put it. We know that I'm gonna put it next to the irrigation controller. It's gonna be somewhere here. And we need to find the stud. In that case, it will be stable. And if you pull it very hard, it's not gonna come off the wall. Using my fancy stud finder, we are locating the stud. So this is the center, this is our stud. So basically when it's gonna be installed, it's gonna be installed that way and the cord will be here. I like it. Now what we need is to cut the hole on the right side. This is where our wire will be going out of the wall and going straight into the wall connector. So we have this plate that will be secured to the wall and there's a pre-marked location for the wire. So we're gonna drill through it. Don't drill too much, because if you're gonna drill more, you won't be able to secure the clamp at place. You can also see there's a three spots that mark for the screws that will be securing to the wall. We're gonna use the left one. Same on the bottom. This is screws provided. It goes all the way through. Don't drill it bigger than the screw, because in that case it will be a little bit loose. Let's do the good job and draw the level. Grabbing our bracket. This is the location I would like to put it in. And now we can mark the hole for the wiring. <laughs> that should be enough to drill the other hole. Okay, before I put this wire in the wall, I will put the electrical tape around it. When you're gonna run the wire through it, it will clamp it 
and not gonna let the wire go back. Fire put in a clamp. Let's try to catch it through this hole. Here you go. So now we can put the clamp on this side of the wires. Here you go, this wire going nowhere. And this is the wire that will be installed inside of the Tesla charger. You also may use the fission rod, but I decided not to because it was close location and I knew I would be able to run it from this spot to over here. So, on this wires here and secure the box. Let's put the clamp here and uh, the wire should be installed that way. On this side I will use this push-in three-quarter clamp. Just put it on and push it in. Stable. If you take a closer look over here, there is a strip length gauge. You just put it here and you know where you need to strip the wire. Grab the wire stripper. Do it to all the three wires. When you strip the wires, grab the special bit and secure the wires. First goes the ground. Line two. And one more. Now put the zip tie, secure the wires. Ground wire would go to the ground bar. And we have a lot of spots over here. Cut it to desired length and secure it. Again, using a special bit, unscrew the bolt. So sometimes it's good practice, don't use your hands, but use the tools. That's why they were designed for. And secure it in place. What I like to do is to secure these wires first to the breaker and then insert it in the panel. On the breaker, it's also the gauge that shows you how long it should be stripped. So you can see we're within the range. Untie the terminals, so the breaker will be installed that way. Put the black on top. I'm gonna finish tightening it when it will be installed. Now the breaker is in an off position. Depends on your panel, the breaker uh, may be different, but the uh, process of the installation will be pretty much the same. Here you go, the breaker is installed. Let's tighten it up. There's still no power, so don't worry. Before I put the cover, I'd like to install the cover for the Tesla charger and start to check if that works fine. Let's put it on. I'm not gonna even secure it at, at that moment. I'm just gonna put it on. As soon as we see the light, everything works fine. And this is the good sign. Okay, let's turn it off. Now it's time to add the product, scan the QR code, put your information, connect the whole connector. So now it's time to put the cover on. There is also a QR code available on the instruction, but this is the use unit. Put it on, insert the securing bolts. That happens all the time. There's two more on the bottom. Okay, now we're ready to proceed. Turn the breaker on again. Wait for the light. Press the handle button for five seconds. Allow to join Wi-Fi. Software update. All right, software is updated. It took us three to four minutes. Connect to your Wi-Fi. Now the product is registering. And we are all set. 
Before we put the cover, let's check if it's gonna charge our car. I know we're far away, but anyway. Let's plug it in. And here you go, the car is charging. We're gonna put the charging rate to the 80%. And this is the sign that your installation was proper because you can see the car is charging. The only thing left is to put the cover on the circuit breaker panel. Now is the sweetest moment. First of all, before we put this cover, we need to remove these two plates because at this place, now the breaker is installed. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mark Tesla and remove these plates. One. There you go. Make sure that your cover secured with the proper bolts. Take the cover, carefully put it on. You see, our breaker fits just right in. All right, now the Tesla charger is installed. Thanks for watching.